Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video will be solving practice problem 14.10 from Mr. Alexander Sabiku's book of circuit analysis. And this is on the request of a student. Let's see. The question says for the circuit in figure, now this is the circuit given, obtain transfer function which is v out over v in then identify the type of filter and then determine the corner frequency when r1 r2 is this value and l is 2 milli henry the answers are also given this is for the first one second and third one now first of all uh, i must uh, Thank uh, this is courtesy of Khulna University of Engineering and Technology. Uh, in their website, this question has been solved, uh, but I have uh, used slightly different methods. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is convert this circuit into phasor domain. And for that, Vit will now become Vi omega. L will become J omega L and V out will become V out omega. And these two are in parallel, so we can just draw a box and say that these two are parallel, R2, J, omega, L. And from here, by voltage deviant rule, we can find this output. So by VDR, V out will be V in divided by the whole impedance, so this one and multiply by the impedance across which we're trying to find. So multiply by this. Now from here we can find uh, the uh, transfer function H omega, which is known as V out over V in. So if we bring this one down, then whatever is left is our answer. So this is R2 parallel J omega L and divided by R1 plus R2 parallel J omega L. But this is not the final answer. We have to keep in mind the answer given in the book is like this. So we'll try to uh, match this. And for that, we'll now first of all uh, solve the parallel at the numerator and denominator both. And then take LCM here. So we'll get this term. Now the numerator is divided by R2 plus J omega L, L and the denominator is also divided by the same term and therefore these two will get cancelled. So this is what is left. But it's still it's not even near to the answer. So what we will do is first of all we'll open this and then take the J omega L terms together. And the next step, we separating R2L and leaving J omega here. Similarly, from here, we taking R1 plus R2L common. So this one will be divided by R1 plus R2L. And from here, it will be only J omega left. And now we are coming close. You see this one, LL gets cancelled. So the first part is matching. Now the second part, we have to solve further. So this equation we'll call equation number one. Now next we will uh, find out uh, about the type of filter. For that, we'll put omega is equal to zero first in this equation. And so when omega is zero, this whole term will become zero and this multiply by anything will be zero. So at omega zero, the transfer function's value is zero. The next we'll find the value at omega is equal to infinity. So from here, limit infinity. And this one we have to further modify. If you remember your calculus, calculus class, we have to remove omega or the variable from the numerator. So for that, we'll divide the numerator and denominator by omega. So just like here, we have divided by that. And once we divide it, this will become J. This will also become J. 
and this term is now divided by omega and now we'll apply the infinity uh, omega so anything divided by infinity will be zero so this one will be zero and gj will cancel that means h infinity will be r2 divided by r1 plus r2 and so we have at omega zero and omega infinity and therefore we can pl now plot the curve will be something like this at start it will be zero and at end it will be r2 over r1 plus r2 now this graph you can see is high pass filter is stopping the low frequency signal and passing the high frequency signal so this is our uh, the second answer it is a high pass filter and that is what is given in the book high pass filter Okay, now uh, let's uh, go back to equation number one. Uh, we, we have to still convert it in this form. So first of all, what will happen at the frequency omega c? Uh, the, this equation will, will just change, will modify wherever there is omega, we'll put omega c. So this is one of the values of the equation at omega c. Now the actual value uh, in terms of a, a concrete value is the value obtained from this graph. And this value is uh, uh, what we call is the in the modulus form, it is the uh, So it is the magnitude form, so we'll convert first of all these in its magnitude value. And for that, we are just writing the magnitude sign for first of all. And the, the second value we'll get is from this curve. We know that at omega c, the value that we obtain is 1 over under root 2 or 0 0.07 of the maximum value. Now the maximum value we have got here was uh, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So the second value we are getting from here, that is the value of H omega at the corner frequency, that is omega C mag is 1 over under root 2 H mx, where is H mx is H infinity, and where is H infinity is R2 divided by r1 plus r2 so this is second value and we'll now compare these two or equate these two to get the final value so these two values will equate so on the left hand side we are writing the value from equation 5 and the right hand side uh, from equation 4 we need to calculate the magnitude of this one first of all we just cancel the r terms same on both sides we get this equation and then the total magnitude we divide it we take the magnitude of the numerator and the magnitude of the denominator and the magnitude of the numerator will be omega c and the denominator we know that x plus j y the magnitude is under root x square plus y square same formula here the magnitude of this one and the magnitude of this one square and the root. So we were here now to eliminate the under root, we'll just uh, square both sides. So this will become 1 over 2, this will become a c square and this under root will vanish. Now we cross multiply. So we get this term and now move omega c square on the left so omega c square is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 l whole square now we can remove these squares so omega c will be r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into l we'll only consider the plus sign uh, because frequency cannot be negative so this is our omega c Okay, so we have found this. Our equation number one was this. Now, uh, the term here at the denominator is same as this. Therefore, this can be replaced by 
omega c. So putting the value of from equation 6 into equation 1, so this will be j omega divided by j omega plus omega c. Now this is the form that we were looking for. So this is exactly the same form. So that is our final answer for the transfer function. Now, the third part of the question is says, determine the corner frequency for R1 and R200 ohms and L this value. We know the, this is the formula for corner frequency. So we'll just plug in the values. So in this plugging in the value of R and L, the answer we get is 25 kilo radians per second. And that is what is given in the book, 25 kilo radians per second. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.